go on. Okay, so now that that calibration pad has been taped down, you'll want to adjust the exposure time to where you get the most definition out of the picture. Usually for the lighting in this room, it's going to be about 15 milliseconds. And you'll have to take it out of live mode. So I'm just going to snap one here in the top left corner and the red will just snap a picture once. I'll go through and enter 15 again. It'll snap right, it'll, it'll snap a picture right away. So now that you can see it might be a little bit more sharper and clearer. Okay, so what you'll need to do is go to the application frame, drop down menu, and then you'll want to just pick any number. It doesn't really matter all that much, but I like to just for namesake when you go back to the teach pennant, you'll end up setting a user frame. I just like to keep all the numbers the same. So in this example, we'll use eight. And then the same thing for the calibration grid frame, I do the same exact thing for the numbering. And then projection should be kept on perspective. Override focal distance should be no. And then status of fixture position, position and first plane. So first what you're going to have to do is be able to have the robot recognize the patterns here. So you'll have to hit find and then there'll be a little red outline all around it. What you're going to want to do is drag that so that way it's only surrounding the circle dots everywhere. Once it's like that, you'll press OK. And then it's automatically going to find everything. And then you're going to want to make sure that all of the numbers look good, there isn't numbers anywhere else, and all the crosshairs are within each circle. Once that's done, you'll come over here and hit set frame, and now it'll be set. And then you save down at the bottom right and close out. After that is done, you'll want to go grab the teach pedit to calibrate the robot to the vision. Okay, to calibrate the vision system to the delta, you're going to want to hit setup on the teach pennant and then hit F1 for type, scroll down to frames and press enter and then you're going to want to hit F3 for other and scroll down to user frame, hit enter again and then you'll see the different user frame numbers. For this example we'll use user frame 8 so we'll go ahead and go down to user frame 8. I should note on here do not change user frame 9 and user frame 2 as those are set for the demo program for the university. So again I'm going to make sure that 8 is highlighted just to the right and press enter and then hit F2 for method and then have it on 3 point and hit enter and then scroll down once to where it said highlights orient origin point. From there you'll move the robot end of arm tooling to the center dot on the calibration grid and you'll want to make sure it's the dead center of the end of arm tooling that is going to that calibration grid. It's also good to have the, ro the rotation of the wrist at its center so it could rotate fully in each direction. Okay so I'm going to show you where you need to put it and how it needs to look for that first one for the origin point. So we'll go ahead and make sure that our coordinate system is actually in user mode. And now we'll hit shift and get the robot to start moving. And you'll want to place it right above that center dot where the end of arm tooling is barely above that calibration grid. And you may want to slow down to sp the speed so you could get that end of arm tooling directly centered over the origin. Once it's done that, you continue holding the dead man switch and the shift button and press F5 for record.
and then it'll record that point. Then you scroll down on the teach pendant to the X direction point. Then you'll continue to move the robot again to the X direction, the farthest X direction dot, which will be this one right here. So I'll go ahead and move that over. And, I, and you'll want to keep it in the same Z plane and not lift it up. Though that may be hard as sometimes it's not planing just right, so you may have to lift that Z direction up just a little bit to be able to get that end of arm tooling directly over that right dot. Once it's there, you'll again press F5 for record and do the same for the Y direction point. That is directly right above that origin point. And then you'll want to press F5 for record again. And now it has been set. The next thing that you need to do after that is go back into method. So hit F2 and go down to direct entry. Once you're in direct entry, you'll want to scroll down to the W and P and zero those out. If you don't do that, it's not going to behave quite like it's supposed to. Now from there you can go ahead and hit menu and utilities to get you back to your home screen and if you're still in the same user coordinate system you should now be able to use the robot and have it in the same XY plane direction that you just set for the calibration.